All right, cool. Monologue looks good. We've got Putin, Ukraine, and COVID. And <laughs> the trifecta. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Who wrote this? Uh, that was me. You can go. See you. Right, see you. Read that to me. Biden's emergency press conference was pushed back from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. To be fair, he was probably still napping. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, it's a joke. Exactly. What is it doing in my monologue? Isn't this a comedy show? I... No, we're a late night show. Uh, yeah, late night comedy hour. Are you getting smart with me? I am a late night comedy writer. I've never been very smart. It sounds like you're getting smart with me. I'm not. Look, we don't do jokes anymore. We haven't done those since like 2016 for some reason. Next time you want to write a joke, just tweet it. Didn't the last guy who did that get fired? Yeah, because he tweeted something that was offensive to little people. But look, we're not here to make people laugh. We are here to tell people what to think and to make them feel good for believing in the right things. And to sell, you know, add time to insurance companies and toothbrushes and toothpaste and that water pick thing that sprays the water, that, that kind of thing. You got it, son? All right, uh, let's rewrite this. How about um, Biden, he's been so amazing, he moved his speech so more people could see it. Or Biden, he's so amazing, he moved his speech to be more inclusive. Okay, how is Biden moving his speech back a half hour more inclusive? <laughs> You're getting smart with me again. Hi. Uh, Look, you I'm know what? Sorry. Here, here, next time you feel like sneaking a joke into my monologue, mm. just go on here, take a line from this <laughs> instead. That's Nancy Pelosi's speech to the DNC. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not here tomorrow. I'm writing for Jimmy Kimmel tomorrow on Tuesdays. Then you should know all this already. <laughs> Phil Noof here. I'm a famous person, so you already know who I am. I'm just here to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe to the Babylon Bee's YouTube channel. And hit that little bell, because when you do that, I make more money. It's trickle up economics. You subscribe, I make money, money trickles up, it all works out in the end, we're all in this together, or whatever. Boom!